Okay. And we are here. In this Fortnite. Well, I don't really like Fortnite, but benchmarking it anyway. Anyways, I'm benchmarking Fortnite with a 3060 Ti graphics card. Obviously, overclocked because I like overclocking, and it gives good performance. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm benchmarking it at competitive settings and epic at three major resolutions, meaning 1080p, 440p, and 4K resolution. I'm starting with 4K this time because Fortnite is broken. It's just my recording doesn't work with 4K and switching from 440p to 4K, which is what the hell is that? It just does not want to work for some reason. And I'm not going there because that is a bad location instead. I'm gonna go on that tiny island. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go here, like in a random ass location, just so we don't get killed. So yeah, settings, 4K. And I'm actually gonna use a 3D resolution scale because it's very annoying to um, uh, you know, change resolutions because it you know, creates black screen and some error sometimes, and I don't know why it does that. Fortnite is literally the only game that does that because it is broken. But I want to show you how broken this game is in optimization, especially with the epic settings. With low settings, it's still quite decent because most people play this game at low, at least the competitive ones. I play this game at epic mode because I prefer quality, but if you're a competitive player, then yeah, low is by far the best. Okay, so this is 4K, and let's go. So yeah, even at 4K with competitive, this game is not demanding 200 FPS. Which is the same as CSGO on high settings, or very high, or ultra, whatever you want to call it. And Fortnite looks worse, so... I don't know how to put it, but not bad. You can run a 4K on 44 or something. Oh shit. Oh, time to run. Shit. Shit. No, 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 can you stop? I hate this. Dude. Fuck. Well, I'm not gonna live very long in this one, but at least I'll be able to benchmark 4K. So the game is looking super sharp at 4K, but obviously, you know, details are quite lacking because it's competitive low settings so yeah but yeah 200 fps at 117 1 percent lose so far this is looking very solid i want some shields and maybe some reds just so they can heal up yeah nothing only a grenade launcher and a Fire flight. Not good. Okay, mini's good. <sighs> that 270 FPS in this house. Oh, the lighting actually changes at low settings though. kill i'll take it <laughs> okay so i think 4k has been enough for now let's drop it down to 67 percent which is 440p or approximately and yeah we are getting much higher fps around 100 more game is looking worse but at low not really that noticeable the decrease in terms of image quality um if you're running a 4040p 240 hertz monitor yeah this will be a very, very solid player. One more rockets. Let's go. Let's swap this up. And yeah. So this is looking. Yeah, not that great, obviously, because low, but again. It's low, so no one really expected otherwise. Um, I'll take the burst of some I don't really. Yeah. But I need an AR. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I don't need the SMG. 
Yeah, I'll take the M4. Alright, time to go to circle. Wait, let me get this chest first. Ooh. Oh, Damn, that was too many grapplers. Damn, I need a meds though. I need hard meds. Okay, good bang with these. No one's shooting. No one's around. Okay, so at 440p, epic. I'm oh, sorry, not. <laughs> Epic view distance, low settings, pace, so competitive. Yeah, it's getting very solid frames. I mean, it's enough for 440p, 240 pace. But if they were more powerful CPUs, then GPU is a bit of nice up. We have something like a 12600K or i7 12700K. You can actually max out this graphics card and get like almost 400 frames per second, which is really solid. Because in CPU bound scenarios, in terms of game, this CPU is way like, way what? Huh? What? Where did the minis go? See what I mean? This game is really broken! I'm not just a moron. Well, I'm going on. What? I. Might be an idiot. No, there's no way they disappear. Also, I'm a complete idiot, but I'm probably I probably am an idiot. But okay, let's go. okay so basically 1440p. Let's test 1920 by 1080, which is 50 percent. 50% looking noticeably worse and getting around the same as. 1440, which makes sense because I was G CPU bound before and now I'm still CPU bound, so yeah, so I would actually play at 1440p. So there's almost no difference in frame rate, maybe slightly higher due to the slightly lower resolution, but that, yeah, that could be just because I'm in a different area, probably getting the, exactly the same, maybe even slightly worse, but more CPU load, more stress for the CPU. Less. Although my CPU is pegged at 4.6, I specifically did that so that it you know doesn't throttle, doesn't like reduce the clock speed, which is good for stuff like video editing, but for gaming it doesn't really matter. And that's why it's getting up to 77 degrees with an AIO 120 mil water cooler. But that's expected because running it at 4.6 gigahertz at all times, and of course, is pretty damn intensive. But GPU is 57 degrees, yeah. So I want to test something now. Let's do 4K 100% resolution scale. Competitive settings still with quality DLSS. And yeah! Are you kidding me? The FPS actually don't improve from 4K native? Wait, this has to be a mistake, right? Wait a minute. So I'm getting 210 FPS. No DLSS. I get yeah, I get actually. It's because of the. I actually get lower FPS. That's really interesting. Cause I think what's happening is DLSS has some, some kind of overhead bottleneck that's causing more. So for really high FPS, DLSS is actually a, like bad. Don't use it. But at low FPS, yeah, it's a pretty much necessity, especially at 4K. I'll test epic settings, you know. I just want to show you why I cannot test epic settings. Like, in this game, because... It will not be playable. I could be wrong, though, but... Time to test, like, 50%, which is, again, 1080p. And now, let's go to epic, and... Yeah. So this is 1080p, because 50% of 4K. And... No! Okay, it's actually smooth now. In the previous game, okay, not really smooth, but okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Like one percent lose are it. Yeah, no, never mind. 
Never mind, I spoke too soon. It's not playable. I mean, it's still playable, but it's very stuttery. Like, will it, like... Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, not testing Epic. Going back to... I was just gonna play at competitive with, yeah, 4K for the rest of this video because high FPS, good resolution. That's actually how I would play by at a 4K 144Hz monitor. Okay, let's get in this fight. I already did all the benchmarking, so I don't really care if I die. thing I've ever done. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that. Okay. Mm, that was very dumb. Okay. So now let's play at, no, 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 4K, which 50%, which again is 1080p, I'm using custom resolution, not using freaking an epic. Let's play. It should not stutter. Please tell me it doesn't. It should not stutter. No DLSS for now. <sighs> okay. So then. So yeah, so competitive settings at any resolution is extremely playable, but 1080p competitive makes no sense because 440 you get the same frames. So I suggest a 440p 240Hz monitor with a 3060 Ti for competitive gameplay. Cause the extra, you know, Resolution will help you see better and 4k 144 Hertz isn't a bad option for competitive gameplay either. Okay, so at the quality settings at, at 50% of 4k, which is 1080p, no DLSS and it's a high pressure experience though. Whoa, that's really good. Although the performance, you know, is actually only matches the 2060 Super. But because of the new graphical updates, they made it way more demanding to adding quote unquote next gen graphics from the consoles. So, yeah, that's it would have been 200 frames per second if it was actually like, you know, the same as before, which a lot of people want it to be. So, not a bad experience, but. Not exactly great either, considering that it's a 3060 Ti at only 1080p. You could drop those settings to high and get 144 FPS all of the time, but that's still underwhelming because it's a freaking. This basically overclocked almost matches a 2080 Ti, even matches a 2080 Ti. So it means a 2080 Ti can only get these frames at 1080p, which. Considering that card costs like $1,200. Oh, sorry, not twelve hundred dollars. Oh no, twelve hundred dollars. One thousand two hundred dollars is like really bad. Like it's almost like a kind of like a battlefield twenty forty two situation. No, it's not that bad, but damn, I don't like ten eighty p on this monitor. Like it's way too soft. It's just way too soft. And memory usage is five gigs. So 4 gigs to 1080p doesn't cut it anymore when it used to. RAM usage is 13 gigabytes, but that's mostly because I have so much crap up in the background and I'm recording. I don't think recording uses RAM though. Maybe I'm wrong. 
and I immediately know that is cool. And also, let's start the benchmarking. Yeah, when we get actually on the ground, we get 144 FPS. So you can definitely run a higher pressure monitor and play at max settings. And so, enjoy the experience. And yeah, a start. As per usual in the game of Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> no, Fortnite, bro. Fortnite. <laughs> Kidding that it's November. No, I'm just kidding, man. Don't feel like that. Look, look. This material is made out of um, uh, editable structures. It's actually dope. It's like Fortnite. Like, yeah, I remember this from the previous seasons. So maybe. Oh god, shot splashes make the game stutter. Basically, anything. If you do anything new, it makes the game stutter, which is pretty pathetic. But 160 FPS in the house, so 1080p 165Hz monitor is kind of possible. Well, again, kind of possible. My editing is so terrible. <gasps> There's no way I just got that. Wait. There's no way I just got a gold combat AR. Although this gun sucks, so. If I know anything better than a blue AR, I'll probably just drop this crap. Nice owl, but. Nice owl. Okay, so yeah, dropping into the 115s. Ugh. Game looks good in terms of graphics. Resolution is a little bit too soft for my liking, but. Like. The reflection is not real time because look down and yeah, it disappears. Not very great. This is not ray tracing even, so. With ray tracing, I think we're dropping to the 50. That's heading EP. What the hell is that? <laughs> Seriously, what is this game? What is this game? What is this game? What even is this game anymore? Like, what is this game? What is this game? Okay, I'm leaving. Okay. I think I had enough of 1080p. Let's go to 1440p. Oh no. I just changed the resolution. Okay, it's still fine. It didn't crash like last time. Okay, I'm actually changing the resolution this time because it's, you know, more convenient. So that la so yeah, at 440p, it's getting wow. It's still above 60 FPS even without the OSS. Like comfortably, you're on 75 for this 440p monitor. Play the game with very little trouble. With bush, yeah, same thing. Bushes are pretty well optimized, unlike the previous seasons. Damn, the difference in lighting is extremely apparent. Like this game actually looks really good. That shouldn't mean they are ruining the game's performance. But the game is very good, like, at least in terms of graphics. The game itself is pretty good. I don't like it anymore. It's too chaotic, too weird. Personally, like, you know, CSGO or Valorant. Valorant is too chaotic, too. I guess CSGO is my favorite shooter. But, yeah. But damn, 90 FPS average. This game. With DLSS, it would probably be like above 100 at all times, which is pretty insane. I'm not gonna test 1080p DLSS due to the fact that the frame rate is already very high. And I think it's bottlenecked. Yeah, I'm actually CPU count sometimes, which is kind of insane. Then you have it. Oh, crap. Crap. Well, you know, I'm gonna test DLSS on the quality. Wow. 120 frames per second. What the? What the? This guy's crazy! This guy's crazy! What are you doing? This guy is actually insane! This guy's crazy. Okay, let's see the car explosion. Doesn't drop the FPS by too much. Wow. 
wow, this is a great experience. You could run a high refresh rate 440p monitor DLSS quality. And the game actually looks really good, as I said many times already. I don't know why I'm beating myself up. Alright, then now let's test my native resolution, which is 4K. No DLSS, obviously. Okay, didn't crash. And whoa. This is native 4K. Native 4K, no DLSS, epic quality settings. And. Um. Yeah, not that great. I mean, it's still playable, but. You need a 3080, I believe, to get 60 FPS. But that's okay. 3060 Ti is not able to do it unfortunately anymore. Used to previous seasons, but they broke the game's optimization by increasing the graphics, which really didn't improve that much. Yeah. Although, what the? Are you crazy? This guy's freaking insane. I can't really play effectively at this point. Yeah, so... What the hell? What the? What the? Dude! This guy's literally crazy with his rockets. What the? Like, are you serious? I can't think... Dude. Where'd you with your dumb rockets, man? Okay, no, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Okay, not playable. Somewhat playable, but why would you have that experience? If you could play with DLSS on quality. <laughs> What the? Really? I just get one pump. Well, time to just watch this guy play, I guess, to collect some items and then I'll say goodbye. So just watch this guy for a little bit. And yeah, 70s. It's perfectly close. Those are actually the settings I use Epic with CLS's quality on my native 4K resolution, and it's a very solid experience wouldn't play a native 4k because it's just way 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 too low of a frame for fortnite like 50 is finally like assassin's creed game for Cry, just a single player title in general but not in fortnite i don't even play this game anymore so really doesn't matter really i just play for benchmarking and reading books in the same world of course let's go with his rocket launcher Okay, so yeah, I had enough of this guy. This guy's annoying. Well, anyways, that's it, boys. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye bye.